Hello and welcome to the Build With Bear Workshop. My name is Pat Bear. I'm here to build a model kit sometimes, but tonight it's Lego time. We got Gary and Nature here throwing the emotes in. I'm throwing the emotes. If you're currently a subscriber, you can throw the Bear Cave, the Lego. If you're a Tier 2 subscriber, you can throw the Scythe, the Moat. Um, I don't think any of my Tier 2 subscribers, because there are a couple of you, uh, I don't think any of y'all watch live, which is fun, but great. Thank you. Um, Lashbrook is here. Aristophan is here. Jam is here. We got a great crew already. Um, my intro is always, I'm here to build a model kit and hang out with you. And that's because most of the time I build model kits. I happen to be building a Lego set right now. Uh, we're doing the Sea Monster set. We already completed on Monday. We built completely the shark. Uh, we're working on the squid right now. Here's a bit of the squid. Hey, Dirty, welcome, welcome. Bit of the squid right there. Well, um, we also have to build the uh, anglerfish and the fourth build, the mysterious fourth build. I have my iPad uh, right off camera ready to use that because some three-in-ones have a fourth build that are on their website. And this one's a whale, and it looked neat. So let's build that, too. Um, uh, I could have it in a tab, but then I'd be looking up instead of looking down. I like having the, you know, having my instructions down here. So I'm just going to use my iPad to do that. I got an iPad mini. It's the second gen iPad mini. So it's the iPad mini new or the new iPad mini. I can't remember what it's called, but whatever. It's a very old piece of tech. Um, it's great for web browsing and reading manga, which I don't do that often, but I do have a subscription, uh, to Shonen Jump and Crunchyroll does have some manga. Uh, it's not a lot, and they don't always have all the chapters um, uh, of things, uh, but uh, but yeah. So I do I do read some manga on my iPad Mini on occasion. It's better than the computer, certainly. Um, if you're reading some digital manga, uh, how's everybody doing tonight? Are you feeling all right? Are you feeling good out there? Um, I will uh, before you know. This is the intro portion of the stream. If you're new to the stream, hello. Or you have a Lego set. There's a different, obviously, a different look to that. There'll be an overhead camera shooting down. I'm going to be building a Lego set and talking while I build about various topics and thoughts and feelings. Um, uh, last night, I did a stream. Uh, uh, Gary uh, says, good, excited to see the set. Yeah, so Monday's stream, we built the shark, which is kind of like, you know, usually that's the one they put on the box is like the one they really uh, think the highest of, but I think the squid looks neat. Uh, so I'm excited to start working in more on that because we did a little bit of it. Um, last night wasn't my favorite bonus stream, uh, but it. But I'm glad we stuck with it. Um, just had some Taco Bell before they take away all the good stuff. Anxiously awaiting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony Hawk Pro Skater to unlock on PC. That is coming. Tony Hawk Pro Skater is uh, unlocking today, tonight, at, right now, soon. It's, it's coming. Uh, Dr. Jones is here. Hi, Dr. Jones. And Aristophan says, stressful day, but I played a video game with the last hour, and it was fun. I had fun. Hell yeah. I was bummed I missed out on the bonus stream last night, but happy to, to be here tonight. Well, I'm happy to have you here, Gary. Yeah, so it took a while to get, like, um, a bunch of folks in chat which is kind of a bummer. It took a little while to get some people in. Um, uh, so I played a little Hearthstone while we waited. And then we had people. And we did, unfortunately, have a rando come in to just be a jerk. Um, and that was a bummer. And kind of, you know, I, I want to play Jackbox. This is the reason I don't often play Jackbox with chat. Is because it does allow for people to just be uh, jerks. Uh, we only had one jerk, though. Um, and I don't want to have to turn on like requires Twitch or something like that, but we ended up playing Gespionage at the end because you can't um, write anything in it. It's, it's the thing where you can't write or draw anything. So I was like, well, we'll just do that. Um, did they use gamer words? No, no, they were just um, they were just a jerk. They're just doing stuff and be trying to be, you know, mean and nasty and just you know not great. Um, they got like zero points. Nobody liked any of their things in Fibbage, which I, I appreciated. Y'all were just like, no. Uh, oh, you're installing now. Hell yeah. Uh, that's a nice shepherd's pie. Have you thought about swapping the taters for cornbread instead? Yes, Aristophan. Truly edgy. Uh, dirty. Hmm. So, um, 
I haven't thought about doing cornbread for shepherd's pie. Uh, for those, uh, I'm going to retweet the tweet. We're going to get started with this build here while I talk about this. Uh, for those that missed the tweet, I took a photo out. Uh, I took a photo of shepherd's pie that was made today, which turned out great. Very happy with. Um, you know, shepherd's pie, not the, the hardest uh, dish in the world to put together, but great results. Really makes its own uh, excellent gravy. Is so nice heated up a second time as things have like congealed together. Very good as a reheat. And, uh, you know, mashed potatoes on the cover. Oops, slide that over. We don't need that in the shot. Um, mashed potatoes, uh, you know, are, are part of it. Now, I haven't thought of doing cornbread instead. I have seen recipes, though, that don't use uh, mashed potatoes and instead use tater tots. And I don't have tater tots in the freezer, so that was not included. But I've always wanted to do it, and someday I will, because I think that tater tots is like, that would just be real good. Real, real good. My dad made chili the other day, and uh, I've had chili on top of tater tots, and that is excellent as well. I know that's good, because I've had that. Uh, homemade chili on tater tots. Oh, boy. Right? Yeah. So the shark was what we made that first. We made our crab and our shark on Monday. So we're working on uh, the uh, the squid, and then we're going to do the angler fish, and then we're going to do the whale. Uh, and the whale, as I said, I'll be reading off my iPad. Taters, that sound good. Or maybe scalloped potatoes. Yeah, scalloped potatoes would be good. Um, I could see that. Yeah, scalloped or uh, I feel like a gratin wouldn't work in baking it as a shepherd's pie because I think that the cheese would kind of like separate from the potatoes, but scalloped could work very well. Um, and as I said, I am particular about uh, the idea of, of the tater tots because I think that would turn out real good. Um, but yeah, scalloped or au gratin might separate and uh, when layered over. Uh, the nice thing about mashed potatoes and also tater tots, and also I would say cornbread, is that it will keep its consistency uh, in, in the baking process. Um, but it was real good. Um, I, uh, I, my dad cooked up a bunch of like steak for like stir fries or for various other things, like just like some sliced steak that he got at uh, the grocery store. And he's got a bunch of that left, and I'm going to have that for lunch tomorrow. I normally don't post photos by lunch, but I'll take a photo of this because we have uh, shredded cheese and steak and frozen, already frozen, mini tortillas. So I think I'm going to make some mini um, quesadillas. And I think that's going to be real damn good. A little hot sauce in there for flavoring, cheese, um, there's some pepper jack and some cheddar, so I'll probably dice up the pepper jack to make it kind of the shredded mix that together, put that in there. Uh, that's going to be real good, and I'm going to make myself some homemade mini quesadillas for lunch, and I am very excited about just the thought of it. But yeah, most of the time my lunches are, you know, sandwiches. Sandwiches, uh, eggs, you know, with with sausage or whatever, you know, that kind of thing. I don't really do a lot uh, special for lunch. Uh, but in this particular instance, I was thinking like, mm, this could be real good. So I'm going to do that. I am excited about that. We're working on another section here of our squid thing. But yeah, uh, still want to get out the charcoal chimney and do some grilling soon. I think... I think we might grill for uh, for Labor Day, uh, Labor Day, Labor Day, because um, that is uh, Monday. So we might grill on Monday, and I'll get to use the old charcoal chimney for that, which I love doing. So that'll be good. We'll do. We'll probably do that. Grill up some burgers, maybe some dogs. Uh, you know, simple, nothing too much. But like. Any chance I, I get to be out and working on the grill, I love. My dad also likes grilling, so I don't like to take that away from him because he loves it. Uh, you know, the grill is his domain. Uh, and in fact, I'll say this. 
never touched a grill living uh, at my parents' house in uh, Connecticut when I lived with them before I moved out. Uh, never touched the grill. Uh, that was just my dad did. So I've never I like he had a propane grill and I like barely have any experience using it because uh, now he's got a charcoal grill. But that's all I learned how to do grilling on was, was charcoal. So uh, I've had to like, uh, you know, just wanna, I don't want to take anything away from him. Uh, uh, a big step was a couple Christmas ago, Christmases ago. My dad uh, made it my job uh, to uh, carve the turkey one Christmas. And that felt like a big, like, concession. Because I'm honestly very good at carving a bird. I'm very, very good at it. Uh, and I think I had said something about doing that at my friend's Thanksgiving. Is That, that is my job at the friend's givings that I, I would go to. Uh, is that I am the turkey carver. So, uh, yeah, that came down to me. So it was like, oh, well, uh, I'll do that here. Okay. So, you know, little, 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 uh, uh moments of my dad, like, uh, allowing me a little more freedom to, to do some of the stuff that he does a lot of, but we'll see. We'll see if I can get, uh, cooking on that grill and cook up some stuff. At the very least, I will run the charcoal chimney and get that going the way it needs to go. Uh, cause I love using that thing. Love a charcoal chimney. It's one of the things that, it, it uh, survived the, is this going into storage or is this getting thrown away thing? Because I was just like, oh, this will this will just benefit me. Let's see. All right. So, we're, yeah, well, this is the nose here or of the uh, of our squid. So we got to put some uh, stuff here on the face. Uh, I will say this blue on this light blue background is sometimes a little hard to tell what it's asking me to do. Um, but I get the general sense of it. It's a little hard to, to see for me. Maybe not for you. If I move it towards the light, because I got my overhead light, it is a little easier. But, uh, you know, my asset's okay. It's just not great. Anyway, um... Yeah, I knew we would talk about food stuff. We talked a little bit about the stream last night. I knew that was coming up. Because, uh, you know, sometimes you just have a fun night. And some, some streams aren't as fun as you would like, but that's okay. I would say that, like, uh, when we did get to play, things were very fun. I had a good time uh, with Joke Boat. I had a good time with Gespionage. Fibbage was a little, yeah, it was a little uh, less than ideal. Uh I think I am going to have to eventually institute a, like, that thing where you have to be, like, logged into Twitch and it uses your Twitch username so that at the very least you can be like, uh, okay, well, now we know who's doing this nonsense. That will theoretically discourage some people from being the jerks. Uh, but we probably won't play Jackbox again until the new party pack comes out. And even then... Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking about maybe having guests on, but I don't know. Um, I don't know if my internet could really handle uh, streaming out and sharing my screen in Discord, which is what I did when I had guests. So I'm not fully sure about that. The new party pack is looking good. Yes, um, I uh, I look forward to watching other people do the... Um, the drawing one because I feel like I'm never going to have a crew that really wants to do that game because it looks really neat, but is probably, it's very involved. Um, uh, even more like there's not, it, there's like, it's not like top loaded art. Like, um, uh, so it's, it's a little more civic doodle than TKO, but it's still a lot of work and I could see, uh, people not loving it, but I, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking where it's going. Looking at some of the games. Pretty excited for it. Should be fun. Alright, we'll put that there. And now we'll just keep working on whatever this stuff is here. Uh, I assume these are some of the legs coming out of the back of this. That's what I'm guessing we're building right now. I kind of like this. Like I'm not sure what I'm building right here. Uh, uh, I'm terrible at drawing. 
but TKO was always a hit for my playgroup. Yeah, I like TKO a lot. It's a lot of setup. So, like, I don't know if it's a great... It's not always a great stream game, but it is a great party game. Um, but, uh, you know, I have uh, friends who are really good artists, and so they stream it, and it works out really well because they're, they're very good at it. Uh, I'm pretty good at s slogans. I'm good at drawing boxy robots and coming up with pretty good slogans. That's sort of my thing. Um, all right, so this is going to go here. All right, that goes there. And then we basically do the same thing, but it's going to go on the other side of our squid. Do, do, do. Uh, let's see. Second hour, we're going to talk about some uh, anime. Uh, we got uh, three shows to talk about because I did drop one of the shows. Gibate, I dropped uh, a couple weeks ago. I might watch it in the off season. I might pick it up in the in the, that period between shows ending and new shows starting. Um, I think that that is going to be pretty short this time because a few shows started late, so I won't. I won't be, like, searching too hard in the in-between. Um, uh, I think. I mean, I don't know for sure. But I think I think that this, uh, this you know, period of nothing coming out will be pretty short as things wrap up. Since a few things did start a later than normal. Um, but uh, there's so much stuff I want to watch the first couple episodes of next season. Like, there's things that I know I'm going to watch all of it, right? Like, there are, there are shows that I know, like, this is every week, and I know I'm, I'm in for it in the hall, like, long haul. But there's a few things that I'm like, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to give this. There's a couple things I'm like, I'm going to have to wait to hear from people that they like a show. Like, there's a couple. There's a star a Starcrossed Lovers, like, fantasy show that I was like, nah, this doesn't look good. But if I'm hearing from people that it's the best, then okay, I'll, I'll check it out. Uh, because there is just a lot of things coming out. and Some of the isekais look good and some of them don't. I'm really psyched about this like adventuring kind of slice of life isekai about a guy who starts over. Um, but he's... Uh, ability is that he is really great at controlling uh, um, slimes and so he gets really good at doing that and just helps people and kind of doing his thing and it kind of adventuring a little bit but mostly just like being a good boy and I was like that seems that seems like something I want to check out uh, like that seems like a thing that I, I'm going to be watching because uh, I know me and there's another one of, like, three people get sent out. There's another guy of, like, three people get sent out. And uh, they're, like, it, it just seems pretty boilerplate. I don't even know if they have special abilities or not. That seems fine. Uh, it is that thing of, like, a loner kid that, like, has to now try hard because people are counting on him. Uh, and it's like, okay, well, we'll see how that goes. There, there are a couple very cute. There is stuck in VR isekai type uh, that you know I'm gonna watch because it's it's Kuma Kuma Bear. It's about a girl that has like this very cute costume. It's a bear costume, and then she has like gl puppet gloves of bears that are like boxing gloves uh, that make her very overpowered. And it is the thing is like, oh, it's a cute anime or it's a cute thing happening, and then you know the virtual thing becomes real or whatever. So. She she ends up using the outfit. I was like, yeah, I mean, I'm going to watch that. Uh, I'm going to watch a regular at Magic School, a regular at Magic School season two, which is, I mean, it's basically an isekai. It's an overpowered main character in a fantasy setting. He just did, wasn't re. If I, if a twist in season two of the regular at Magic School is that he is an isekai character who is just realizing it, I would not be surprised, because it's just an overpowered main character in a magical uh, sort of like our world world, and so if I found out that that's that was the explanation uh, they're isekai and they were like not supposed to be brother and sister, and they're from another world, I'd be like, yeah, alright sure 
Um, let's see. Is there another? Uh, oh, there's a pretty fun uh, show coming out. It seems like the idea anyway. It seemed pretty fun. Uh, that is um, a princess gets captured and like is like kidnapped and in a in in some sort of demon castle and is just very cute and lazy and so I think it's a comedy about her being trapped there uh dirty says that's a good manga yeah just like the premise I was like this is a fun premise that I am interested in learning more about like all right that sounds cute as hell uh when does the spider manga... I thought the anime about the spider I thought was coming out. But I didn't... When does that come out? Because there was a video about it. There's a trailer for it. The anime. Receive an anime adaptation. Yeah, okay. Anime so... It's rescheduled. Ah, oh, dang it! It got pushed till next year. It was supposed to premiere this year because there's a trailer for it. Uh, the anime is called uh, Soma Spider So What? And it's an isekai about a person who is now a spider. Uh, and I thought that was coming out this year, but I guess it got pushed because a bunch of stuff got pushed. So that's not coming out until next year. It's coming out in January. And that's a bummer because that's just a fun idea. And I wanted to see that show. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Um... You know, better safe than, than sorry and all that. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really want to say. There's a couple things that I'm like, I guess I'll watch that, but I'm not like super invested. The, um, oh, that the, there's a drama slice of life uh, about a girl that is, that has a crush on another girl and she's trying to figure out uh, what that fucking means. And I don't know. It, it depends on how it's handled, right? Like, I I'm I am cautiously optimistic about that, but also, you know, Japan. So I don't know if it's that's going to be something that I want to watch or not. Uh, hopefully, it's great, but it could also not be great. It could be very not great. So. Where did that piece go? There it is. Great. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm kind of cautiously optimistic about that. I want to see what else there was. Any chart had has just, like, the next season, which is... Right, or the... Was it summer? Yeah. Oh, Haikyuu. How can I forget? Haikyuu is coming back. Of course, I'm going to watch Haikyuu. Um... Uh, I will watch uh, the next season of uh, um, uh, uh, Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon because I am me and I, while that series is not great, it is perfectly good. I thought this last season, uh, the previous season was pretty great. Uh, so I'll probably watch more of that. Uh Jujitsu uh, Kaisen is an interesting premise. I don't know if it's going to be a good anime. Uh, oh, and, and Noblesse. I'll watch the Noblesse because I liked that uh, treatment of the first couple episodes um, as an OVA. Uh, and I like, the, I like the premise of a vampire that wakes up in modern times and is like, what's all this? What's going on? Uh I don't. I know nothing of this modern world. I'll go to school to learn about it. That's a great place to learn. Also, because one of my servants, who has still been, who's alive all this time, is the became the dean of the school because the, the school is on property that the uh, the uh, vampire owned. Uh, also, the dean uh, or principal, whatever you want to call him. Um, his name is Frankenstein. I don't know why, but he is. So, yeah, I'm probably going to watch some Noblesse. This really powered vampire and his teen, uh, you know, his high school teen friends. 
It's like, sure, I'll watch that. That that sounds perfectly okay. Uh all right. Well that's our uh that's our squid. That's our squid friend. That was a pretty uh, seamless, easy build. Obviously, we're going to keep going. we got two more builds left in this kit, so we'll disassemble this in a minute. But, yeah, uh, it's got some movement here. That's a neat squid. Yeah, I think this is pretty cute. Um, let me see if there's any other anime. That... Oh, I'm, I'm not going to watch uh, Higurashi when they cry. I didn't finish it the first time. Um, new animation isn't going to make me like that show more. Uh, if you like it, hell yeah. But me, no thanks. Um, there's a kid wandering the Arctic with a wolf, and they become friends. Uh, and the wolf is more than meets the eye. And I'm like, probably not. If that's your thing, that's your thing. Uh, oh yeah, there's that witch's one. Uh, Majo no uh, Tabi Tabi, which I think is Burn the Witch is what it's being called. That seems okay. Uh, I think that's the one. Or is that... Maybe that's a different one. I don't know. There's a witch one that seems pretty chill. Oh, that's... Yeah, I think actually that's a different one. There's a different... Burn the Witch is a different show. Uh, I'm probably not going to watch the... Uh, the one about the girls that work at the coffee shop and the tea house. That's they're cute. That's a cute show, but I didn't real I don't think I finished the second season of that show, so probably won't watch the third one. There's just gonna be a lot of shows. It looks good. I mean there's gonna be a lot of stuff that I like drop, right? That's what really the the real thing. Uh this season I only dropped one thing because there wasn't a lot. Alright, let me take a photo of this squid and then we will disassemble it and move on. We'll just like that. Yeah, I like that. Squid. Squid. Uh, yeah, Burn the Witch is the new tight Kubo thing. Yes. Uh, yes. Burn the Witch is different from this other witch one, which I actually don't think is going to... Th that one might be one of the shows that doesn't get picked up because I feel like this next season... I think this next season there's going to be some stuff that doesn't show up anywhere. Uh, I'm just getting that vibe. Uh, I don't have any concrete reasons for it, but uh, I don't know. Uh, and then, of course, I'll keep watching One Piece and Black Clover, uh, you know, my ongoings. Um, yeah, I think Orphans next season isn't till next year, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I don't have to watch that. And Fire Force. Oh, also, yes, Fire Force is a double, so I'll be watching Fire Force uh, the rest of Season 2. Uh, I'm so glad that it is a double length because uh, I'm just starting to be very engaged in, in Fire Force right now because of the first few episodes. Uh, I wasn't enjoying it, and now I am enjoying it. It is, uh, I think, much better uh, right now. There's, there's much more cool stuff going on in that show me to like. Of course, we'll talk about Black Clover and Die of Our Days of the Breakwater and Gibate uh, in the second, not Gibate, uh, Decadence. I dropped Gibate, so we won't talk about Gibate. But uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in the second hour. Yeah, there's a there's some good stuff coming out, so I am always excited about new shows coming, and also second seasons of things I like. Um, people have asked me uh, if there's a show similar to um, Misfit Demon King Academy, and that is uh, the show, um, The Irregular at Magic School. The only difference with The Irregular at Magic School is there's not reincarnation, there is magic, but it is a guy that seems like he that, that on paper is very weak but is clearly very strong um, and people don't want to acknowledge that he's strong at a magic school and there's a lot of that there's a lot of classism in there so that is similar to Misfit Demon King Academy and there is somewhat of a conspiracy but it's not as big a conspiracy as in Misfit Demon King Academy 
Uh, and then the very big difference is that uh, uh, the two main characters in the show are very much clearly in love with each other, and it's very creepy and not great. I don't know why it's there. I don't know why it's there. I know that part of it is the devotion aspect because he gave up basically a lot of, for, in exchange for power and powers. He gave up some of his, his own humanity and he becomes kind of a character that doesn't really emote that well. Uh, and she feels very devoted for, to him for that, uh, for what he gave up. But then also it's weird. And all the characters, other characters do comment on it being weird, which is a strange part. Like, if everybody's like, "Hey, this that's weird," like, then why 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 is this in the anime? It does not need to be there. It is there, and it is weird. Uh, so I'm just separating these pieces now and putting them into the proper spots. Uh, we'll do that. Let's see. Uh, there's wrestling this Saturday. We got an AW event. Um, I feel like uh, only one of the titles that is up for grabs is going to change hands. Uh, some people really think MGF, uh, MJF is going to win. And um, I don't think he is. I don't see MJF becoming their first champion and Moxley losing now. Uh, I think Moxley is going to lose. But I don't think it's MJF, and I don't think it's this weekend. Uh, I think he will drop the belt at some point, but I don't. I just don't know. I think Moxley having the belt is just. I think this uh, time was supposed to be like a time for him to like prove himself, and I don't think he did. Um, well, let's see. I think at. FTR winning the tag belts is a no-brainer. You finally really break up the elite. Um, uh, and I think that's going to happen. Uh, I think Sammy Guevara is going to win. That is an unpopular opinion that Sammy is going to win. And then because the stipulation that if Matt loses, uh, Matt Hardy loses, he will leave the company for a while. Hello, Bald Ridge. Happy to have you here. Uh, and I think that Matt Hardy, like, leaving for a while and coming back makes more sense um, than him just not being in a program and having anything to do. Um, I think it would be a shame if the Dark Order lost because they are finally getting some sort of momentum after after floundering and, and then being bolstered by the reveal that it was Brody Lee was the person in charge and then Brody Lee like just losing matches and looking weak and just being a Vince McMahon parody that you really have to know some stuff about Vince McMahon to like know what's going on and that not working at all or making any sense. Uh, it was just a real detriment to everybody involved. Uh, but now they're kind of building that back up. So it'd be a real shame for uh, a group of four people that have barely ever worked together uh, to like win uh, I don't know uh, I think it would be a real shame for a champion in another promotion to win the women's title but also uh, AEW is terrible at booking their women's division hence one of the biggest uh, storylines of since lockdown the return of Britt Baker is the pre-show event. And you're like, well, what else could be the pre-show event? And my response to that is anything. This this grudge match, the four the four way grudge match could be that. There's a bunch of things you could do that you could do the twenty one man thing that gets a title shot that doesn't matter and isn't gonna be great. Uh uh is really sad they aren't booking the AEW one better. Yeah. Yeah. It's one, it's Big Swole, who is the future of their fucking company, because she's got years, years and years and years of getting better, better and better. She's already great. She's going to get so much better. She's excellent on the mic. Uh, she's a future champion, if they don't screw it up. And she's in the pre-show against the return of Britt Baker, who is a homegrown talent. Yes, she was on the indies. 
but she was barely on the indies, and she wasn't great on the indies, but she's great there. Uh, they're hot, one of their hottest heels, and they're in a gimmick match in the pre-show. They're brawling in a dentist's office in the pre-show. It's like, no, put the Dark Order match there. Come on. There's definitely something else you can do. Um, I think that because Orange Cassidy won before, Chris Jericho is going to win, and then uh, he's going to win by pinfall or submission, and then he is going to get dumped uh, into uh, the mimosa tank. Uh, so that way we get the visual of him being dumped in the mimosa. Orange Cassidy gets his uh, his vibe back a little bit. Um, he gets to uh, you know he gets his mojo back a little bit because oh I got the last laugh, and Chris Jericho doesn't lose the same person to matches in a row, two big events in a row because he I don't think he's going to put Orange Cassidy over clean twice I just don't think he is um, uh, Ball Ridge we were talking about uh, the All Elite Wrestling program, AEW it's basically, you know it is anime, it's just li it's live action anime especially, you know, the, the, you know some of the stuff with personality switches and costume changes and you know uh, betrayals anyone yes live action anime yes betrayals that anyone can see coming uh, like you know like it shouldn't be like I understand what they're doing with the elite and having it be hangman betraying the bucks hangman has felt like the odd man out this whole time but I, th I don't know. I can't tell. I, this is on me. I can't tell if the Young Bucks understand that they are the heels. I don't think they understand that they're the heels. That they suck ass. That they're shitty dudes. They're great wrestlers, but their whole vibe is just being shitty. Uh, you know, actually, that's... Uh, where that's the pre-show match. The pre-show match should be the Bucks versus the best friends and winner gets a title shot because we all know we all know the outcome of that match. It doesn't have to be a good match because we all know it's going to be the Bucks because the Bucks are going to win and FTR is going to win and the Bucks are going to you know, have FTR and they're going to finally face in this match that everyone's been waiting for and they're going to try to time it out so it happens in front of a larger live crowd because they want that. Uh, and then it's going to be that hangman. Uh, what I actually want to happen but won't happen is that you think hangman is going to, uh, hangman page is going to uh, betray the, the Bucks again and cost them the match. Uh, it, to help FTR, but really it's Kenny and Kenny and uh, Hangman join FTR in the new Horsemen, the new the newish for their version of the Four Horsemen, and it's fucking heel Kenny. They've been teasing heel Kenny for a while. Uh, I think it's the time to do it, and then I, I definitely think that that's the end of of this version of the Elite. Matt, you know, will be gone. Uh, I don't think they're going to do that. Uh, Kenny is the Street Fighter guy. Yes, Ball Ridge. Uh, Kenny Omega, you may know from, from like, the Street Fighter. Harold just subscribed. Thank you so much. Sub time. I'm going to hit the applause here. Uh, that's 34 months on a 32-month streak. Uh, sub time. Thank you very much, Harold. Let's throw the Bear Cave, the Lego, the Scythe Moat in the chat. Uh, Harold, who is also now hosting. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, Harold. Um... So ready for Hill Kenny again, right? Me too. Oh, and uh, uh, Gary and Nature just subscribed to Tier 1, uh, and that's for four months. Thank you so much. Let me hit the thing there. Uh, thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Um, what if the Elite just becomes Bullet Club again? So that I want the Elite to be... Um, I want the Elite to be worthless. I want the Elite to be the Bucks and their friend Brandon. The guy with the worst record. I want the elite to not be elite. I want Kenny and Hangman and FTR to form the new fucking Four Horsemen. Uh, and just be their own gang. Matt, you know, like... 
you know, like they, you know, they've lost everybody. They uh, they try to recruit new members and it doesn't work out because people are like not into it. Like that's what I want. I want the elite to be like whatever, you know, like not a thing. And then they have to figure out a way to, to make it the, the big deal again. Uh, that's 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 what I want. I don't think it will. I don't think it's going to happen, but that's what I want to happen. Uh, I got to try to separate these pieces. There are a couple different ways to do it. Uh, it's a little tough because this piece is is weird, but this should do it. If I put it here, you do that, and then nope, that didn't want to work. Nope, it's not working. Let me try this side. There, nope, that didn't work. Okay, these pieces do not want to come apart. Uh, I doubt they'd kill the elite because they'd have to rebrand the YouTube show. I mean, so that's the thing. Being the elite is just the it's just the two brothers trying to figure out what the elite means. Maybe it's welcoming back Cody. Maybe it's Cody becoming a, a more active participant because Cody's been kind of doing his own thing and not helping out with uh, family stuff, with, with drama stuff. So maybe it's Cody. Because uh, I want Cody... I would love... Face Cody feuding with Kenny Omega. I think that is fucking money. Uh, I think they get a lot of that. But I think I think merging the Bucks with the Rhodes, you know, the Nightmare Collective, is 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 the way to go, and have it be a turmoil thing and trying to figure out what is what does the elite even mean? That shit works for me. Oh, I do want to point out uh, September. We're going to take a pause to the cause, you know, 15 minutes from now. But um, here's the thing you can do in September. Let's say that your subscription renews because you use tier one subscription, right? And it's going to auto renew in like two days. You can cancel your subscription and then you can start a new subscription and you can lock in a cheaper price for one month or three months or six months. Do you lose your streak? Yes. But if you really wanted to save some cash, you could do that. And it doesn't affect me negatively. That's for the entire month of September. So it doesn't work on gift subs. It only really benefits new subscribers. But you can basically end your auto renew and subscribe with cash money. And then it's like you're getting that benefit. I don't say, I'm not saying you should do that. You can do that. Um, that is an option for folks out there looking to save some money. Also, we do have that whole, like, buy a few months at a time thing. And this way you do save money. That's the thing you can do. Uh, not saying you need to. Saying you can. Uh, uh, you're a good guy for pointing out the savings, Pat. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, it's convoluted, right? You got to cancel your subscription. Um you gotta you gotta know when your subscription renews and auto renews and cancel it before that. So it's not the same thing. I wish that September was just cheaper for people. This month was just cheaper. I wish that September was if you renew anyway outside of the Prime Gaming. Obviously, it's just cheaper. I wish that gifting subs was cheaper because um, that would be nice. I wish that that was a thing that if you gift a sub this month, uh, that price would be cheaper. Uh, for people, I think that, that would be rad if that was included. It's not. Um, it really does benefit new subscribers coming in, which I can appreciate. Uh, but I also always want to look out for the folks that have continued to support me. Like, hey, if you've done it one month forever, or if you've done it, uh, you know, four months like Gary, or uh, 34 months like Harold, like, that's incredible, and thank you so much. I appreciate anybody that's able to support me and continues to support me, or just did it one time. But I do like the idea of uh, looking out for, for folks that have been doing this for a while, and new folks, because uh, every little bit helps. Jeff Bezos has to pay for his gold toilet. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, I wish September... I mean, it's just the deal, right? It's just the deal that's happening. At the very least, it's not done by Subway this time around. So I think technically that's an improvement. Because now we're not saying eat fresh after every subscription. Uh, but yeah. Um, but that, you know, that was more wrestling talk than I believe yet. But I, I you know, I got, I got some wrestle opinions. 
Uh, it's going to happen while I'm doing this, so damn if I, you know, I'm going to watch it or anything. Uh, maybe I'll watch some of it at the very beginning and then I'll watch it later. But trying to be very frugal with money. Because you got to. Because people don't want to pay for services provided in a timely fashion. Sometimes because they don't got it. But then they shouldn't have hired you in the first place. Uh, oh, uh, Harold just redeemed a question I must ask. Now that you're in the South, have you had public subs yet? Uh, um, and the answer to that question is no. Have not gotten a sub at Publix. Um, we've gotten food delivery from Publix, a grocery delivery. Uh, oh, Jam wants me to hit the gong. I'll hit that gong. Uh... Uh, the amount of pre-show stuff for all in is ridiculous. Yeah, they're really making it a goddamn event. Here is the gong. I will answer your question, uh, or I'll mention what you said there, Gary. But we got two gong requests. So here's a gong. And here's Dirty's gong request. Two gongs in a row. No problems. Um, yes. The <laughs> chill meditation gong, yeah. The gong purchased I assume for a comedy piece by my former roommate and then it became just a thing that I was like well if you don't want this I'm not gonna throw it away it's a gong um speaking of wrestling my Facebook timeline this week reminds me it was five years since I was in the fog machine it was at the fog machine incident yeah yep 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 uh I'm getting a lot of PAX information flooding in uh reminders of PAX stuff oh so we made this fish that the angler fish is gonna be chasing a real goof fish right here Real goofball. Whoa. Got a little f f fish friend. Um, a lot of that stuff happened. But yeah, I, I we've ordered uh, groceries from Publix, but we have not. I have not gotten a sub from them. Uh, it is long overdue. It, it will be a thing that I do uh, uh, in the future, but have not yet. But of course, have heard nothing but good things about it. Uh, but yeah, I um, you know, I, I'm doing doing. The, the work when I can here and there trying to get some stuff done um, mostly working online uh, I barely leave the house unless I have to uh, uh, I go for walks because I am in a residential area so uh, I, I go for walks in the afternoon it's been incredibly humid it's so damn humid but um and then if my dad's like or my mom were picking things up I might go for a ride with them just kind of get out of the house but I've been trying my dangdest to just avoid um interacting with people um in honor of the nintendo direct what if any is your favorite mario game ask arista fan arista fan uh throwing in a uh, great question thank you arista fan for that um my favorite mario game is dr mario my favorite of the super mario games the super mario franchises as they say um, is probably Super Mario Bros. 3. Because I love 3. But, I may, as far as a Nintendo game that I put the most time into, uh, the NES, is definitely Dr. Mario. I played a whole lot of Dr. Mario and love Dr. Mario. Um, but yeah, I also really, really love Mario 3. Uh, Dr. Mario was legit. Hell yeah. Uh, I've been watching Abby's Pax West 18 vlogs, and they pop up on my day in history for GB. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like those. I, I made, like, she was one of the people that inspired me to to do a little bit of vlogging at Pax's. Uh, her and uh, Graham Stark, uh, who does incredible uh, uh, work. Uh, she's great because she gets them up. I mean, it, it, it limits what she can do. Uh, in her, you know, in her downtime, but her getting that v video footage up is really great. Uh, whereas uh, when I did it, it was like a week later, which I felt pretty good about. Uh, I remember my youth playing a lot of Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Hell yeah. That's a classic. Uh, it's also just a great, it's a damn great name, isn't it? Oh, Mean Bean Machine. It's beautiful. Uh, three was imprinted on my mind. I played it years later. Remembered all the secrets. Yep. Yeah, no. Uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine is just like... It just 
Shouldn't roll off the tongue, but totally does. A beautiful name for a game. Uh, and it's sort of descriptive. It sort of makes sense. You sort of know what they're talking about with mean bean machine. But yeah. That's my second favorite non uh, traditional Sonic game. My favorite non traditional Sonic game being the DS Sonic game uh, that was a uh, that was for some reason a turn based <laughs> strategy game uh, or turn based RPG I should say turn based RPG which Dark Brotherhood which should not have been should not have been as damn good as it was because that game fucking rules. That uh, was made by a Bioware sub, like second tier Bioware like group, or a small team or something. That was a really fun. It was a very simple RPG, but it was very fun. Uh, it involved motion stuff, and it was it was it was detailed. It was neat. Exterior threat showed up, and you had to call, you know get a bunch of characters to work together, including arch rival or villains and. Uh, and arch rivals and people that existed solely to destroy one another having to work together. It was, it was fun. And it is a underrated game. I would have liked a sequel to that. I understand why there wasn't. All right, we will take a pause for the cause in a minute or two. Talk about ways you can support the channel. We do have to talk about the three anime shows from the previous couple days that I watched because, you know, got to talk about that. I want to thank everybody that's watching tonight. Thanks for hanging out uh, as we build Lego. Uh, I always appreciate uh, people turn it, tuning in and turning out for a stream. Uh, means a lot. Uh, my next build stream will be Saturday. It was, the, you know, remind y'all, Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Um... My next kit is a real grade that was purchased. I'm going to go back to model kits. Uh, I decided to do that uh, instead of doing another Lego set because I have for my for my wish list uh, a Lego set and a model kit to build. And uh, so I'm going to build the real grade of the Zaku 2, uh, which is a fantastic real grade. Great looking kit. Love the colors of it. Also a lot of red like we're building right now. Uh, that is a fantastic kit. So I am looking forward to uh, putting that together and doing a model kit. Get back into some model kitting. Uh, so that'll be the next thing we do when this is done. Although we have to still do this and build a whale. Uh, excited to see that kit. Yeah, it's a great one. Uh, it is this Zaku 2. It's a beautiful color. It's not Char Zaku 2. It's Zaku 2. Uh, great big weapons. Uh, real grades. The very first couple real grades that came out weren't necessarily the best, but this one is a pretty modern real grade uh, and should be a good, good design. Um, so excited to work on that one next. Uh, but we saw off this, and then we also have the fourth build. This is the three-in-one, but there are four builds for this. It doesn't always happen, but it did happen in this case. Uh, we're going to build a whale uh, once we're done with this, and that'll be good. Uh... I think this is Johnny Ryden's. Yeah, last week I believe this is Johnny Ryden's Zaku 2. But, I, yeah, I think so. Uh, Zaku II RG. I know this isn't Char Zaku 2 real grade. So, uh, I'm looking it up. No, because this is not the Bandai, the fourth one, which is very early, which was the Zaku 2. Uh, ooh, I'm signed out. Of, I'm signed out of Amazon. I did a uh, uh, a cleaner here, uh, the uh, C cleaner, and then I have to sign it back into everything. Yeah, so it's not this Zaku 2. I'm looking at the uh, my list here. Filtered by purchased. Looking at my wish list, because this was bought off my wish list. A ways back here, and so I just have to find it off my wish list. When was it purchased? Control F. Saku. 
Yes, this is Johnny Ridden's uh, Zaku 2. Yes. That's what it was. Yeah. Although the photos are a little darker red than the actual one, but whatever. Yeah. So that's what it is. This is Johnny Ridden's Zaku 2. Uh, looks great. It's just a great looking kit. Uh, Alright, so we're going to keep working here on our angler fish. Keep doing that. But yeah, uh, that is a great looking Zaku too. Just the great colors. Uh, cool design. So looking forward to putting that together. And working on a model kit. Working some different muscles. I will say, so relaxing working on Lego. Because you can't really mess Lego up. Uh, just, I think the decals are the only thing you can really mess up. Otherwise, you're just... Anything you do wrong can always undo. Uh, I've always loved the look of Zaku's. Yeah, um, one of my favorite kits I built, I don't know if it was this year, if, the, if we built the Zaku Warrior this year or if it was last year, but the Zaku Warrior uh, was really great. Uh, I'm going to look at... I'm going back into my list here. We built a bunch of Zaku's. Uh, the uh, the 1100 uh, Zaku that we built, the uh, Zaku FZ, is another classic beautiful looking one uh just the the very art of it was just so nice uh oops no no come on just gotta scroll through a bunch of this to like find uh not every kit because sometimes i buy kits and they don't end up on the wish list but uh or the purchased of the wish list but uh there have been a lot of great zakus on here uh we built the Shin Matsugana uh, one, the white Zaku 2. That was a really nice build. Um, we've built the perfect grade of Char's Zaku 2, which is incredible. Uh, and then the uh, we did both the Gundam Thunderbolt Zaku with all with its so much backpackness. Uh, that that one is quite an incredible piece. Uh, just so much backpack on that one, that Thunderbolt Zaku 2. Uh, or Zaku. Um, but yeah, we've built quite a few here. I think the Zaku Warrior is just a really classic design, uh, or take on the design. It's a really, really sharp, I should say. Um, and the FZ, the 1100 FZ, is a great Zaku. It's got that forest green, which just uh, red is a highlight. Really sharp looking. Uh, I'll do a couple more things here, and then we'll take our pause for the cause. Talk about ways you can support the channel if you want to, but you're under no obligation to do that. You don't have to do it. You just can, but you don't have to. If you wanted to, you could. That's what we're. That's what we're saying. Oh, did I do that twice? Must have done it twice. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I uh, I did a step twice, but I didn't need to. I just did it on my own. That's fine. All right, let me put a couple more things here. Zaku two is good. Never been a fan of the Zaku one. Last book, yeah, I can see that. I, 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 there are some Zaku's that I like. Some Zaku ones that I think are some fun design. But I, I can see that just being more of a fan of, uh, the sequel. Uh, I mean, the thing with Zaku's that are always frustrating is depending on what version of the kit you're building, uh, you know, high grade through master grade is how the beads are going to work because they don't always work in a way that I like. Uh, just, you know, if it's just a piece of plastic or if it's a bunch of beads and wire or whatever, just doing the hosing for the front of the kit is always sometimes not great. Sometimes very, very good. Sometimes big, big fan of it, but other times not a big fan of it. Just depends. All right. We'll finish this part of the kit off and then we'll keep working here as we work on our angler fish. Our big angry angler. Um, but yeah, I am uh, excited to do some more uh, uh, model kit building. Do a little bit more of that. I've got a pretty good little backlog. Uh, I got a master grade from 2001. Good night. I'll catch you Saturday, Pat. Harold, have a great one. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Thanks for the host. 
as always, and renewing your subscription, as always. But yeah, um, uh, I got a Zoc, uh, no, uh, Zoc uh, I got a Master Grade from the year 2001, the uh, Camphor. Uh, it's an old kit, but it's a kit I've never built, so big blue friend with, with one of them mine whips. So it's just a weird, this is a weird thing. This is a weird part of any kit. It's the whole mine whips thing. <laughs> Whip mines. Just strange. Uh, all right. Uh, so we'll put these pieces on here. And we are now taking a pause for the cause. First and foremost, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're new to the stream, this is going to be pretty short. I'm just going to talk about ways you can support the channel if you are like to. You're under no obligation to do so. Uh, but these are just ways you can support if that's something you like to do. I'll keep it brief as I can. Uh, if you're currently a subscriber, you can throw the Bear Cave, the Lego, the Scythe emote in the chat. Let the people know that you are a subscriber. If you're a Tier 2, you can use that uh, Scythe emote, uh, the Death Scythe, uh, Death Scythe Pat. But if you're not, you can just use the other two because thank you. Uh, I'm going to drink a little water here because I need it. Hell yeah, water. Very good. All right, so I'm going to talk about ways you can support the channel. Again, you don't have to, but if you want to, these are things you can do. First and foremost, you can subscribe. Hello. Uh, you can use cash money. You can use, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Amazon Prime with your Prime Gaming, and then you get a token you can use once a month. Uh, you can gift a sub. You can do bits right now. Uh, Silver Streak is in the lead with two gift subs. Uh, there have been no bits given out this month. It's a new month, so that's okay. But if you would like to do bits and coins, uh, oh shit, it's not Friday. Mr. Bob, it's Thursday night. You missed about an hour of building, you, uh, but that's okay. Jam just cheered 100 bits. Thank you so much, Jam. Uh, thank you, thank you. And Gary uh, did 100 bits as well. Thank you so much. Get the applause for both of you. Uh, thank you so much. And then also do that there. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Um, welcome to the leaderboard. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, bits and coins, always appreciated. Gifting subs. Uh, reminder, it's September. So if you're a new subscriber, you can get a discount for one month or three months or six months. Uh, and you save more if you buy in bulk. Um if your subscription is about to end and you don't mind breaking your streak, you can cancel your subscription like a day or two before it expires so it doesn't auto-renew and instead start a new one and you will get that savings. Um, it's work and it shouldn't be, but it is work. And if you wanted to do it, if you want to save a couple dollars, you could do that or a dollar or whatever. Um, that's an option. Uh, I have a Patreon. It's the beginning of the month, so it's the best time to join my Patreon if that's something you'd like to do. There's $1, $3, $5, and $10 tiers, so it's a bit more broad than the usual. Uh, so, and because I've been doing it for a while, I still have the $1 tier, which new patrons, new Patreon uh, users, they don't get that $1 anymore. Uh, they basically did away with that because they uh, Patreon doesn't make as much money that way. It's real cool, real cool, Patreon. They're, they're like, oh, you'll make more money that way. I'm like, mm, will I? I don't believe so. I can't wait for them to eventually take it away entirely. Because they will. Because they're Patreon. Uh, you can also do direct uh, one-time deposits. Now, anything I make through my Patreon, through my Twitch, eventually I'll get AdSense money uh, sometime next year, maybe. Um uh, that goes to buying kits and equipment along with my coffee and my Streamlabs and my PayPal. If you donate during the stream, uh, that goes into a fund, which I take money out to buy model kits. Uh, speaking of model kits, some of y'all bought me model kits, which is rad, and I appreciate it very much. This uh, Lego set that we're building right now was bought on my Amazon wish list, uh, which was very nice. Lashbrook picked up a couple Lego sets and... This lovely, uh, and the Zaku too that I said that we're going to build next. Um, there are some inexpensive Lego sets in there. There are some inexpensive model kits. There are some expensive model kits. Uh, there's a bunch of different things on this list uh, that you could pick up and then it gets sent to me in the mail. Uh, I put the, uh, the uh, uh, a bunch of different things in here. A few new things. Lots of different kinds of stuff. Uh, and it jumps the queue. Um, ooh. Uh, the, uh, Kyrios is down to 50 bucks. 
Ooh. Ooh, the Karyos is a weird kit that I'm glad they made. Uh, it's got that shield on the bottom and, like, it's knee, like, it's an elbow. Yeah, no, it's knee things are large wings. It's just a strange kit. And it's yellow. How many kits have, like, yellow outside of, like, the crown? Uh, it's a cool kit. Uh, uh, we built the Dynamese, and this is, like, its partner. Uh, that's 50 bucks. I might end up getting that. Last work, I thought you bought me... I thought you were the person that bought, uh, the Zaku 2 and the two Lego sets. Am I... That was Aristophan. That was Aristophan. I'm so sorry. Lastbrook, you're always great about getting stuff, and I appreciate that. Aristophan, you bought these, and I mixed it up in my head, and I apologize. Uh, Aristophan also did not correct me when I was giving credit to Lashbrook. But that was uh, Aristophan doing that, and thank you very much. Uh, yeah, Lashbrook, you didn't buy these. Those are Aristophan. I'm sorry. I, uh, I forgot who did that. Uh... I'm not always the best at remembering stuff bought from my wish list, which I should be better about uh, as I now quickly. Yep, that was a risk of it. Yeah, sorry about that. Last book, you didn't do that. Okay, let's try to get through this real quick. We're going to talk about that. I got that wish list. You can buy something and I'll build it ahead of time. Uh, USA Gundam Store is the alternative. Uh, I bought this Arc whatever, the combiner. Uh, the Arc whatever. Oh, yes, you did buy that. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. Yes, you bought the... Uh, I built that previously. Um, yes, the Ark, which combined with the Lancer. Yes, you bought that, and I appreciate that. Uh, USA Gundam Store, you can buy a gift card. Then send me a DM on Twitter with the code, and then I'll buy something. And thank you for doing that. Um, that's another way to directly support the stream is to buy stuff. Uh, another way to support what we do that's fun for you, it does not cost you any money, is joining my Discord. I post build photos at the end of every stream. People post stuff they're working on, uh, or they used to. Lately, folks, are you building stuff? Because I don't see posts on the Discord of what you've been working on. You, you doing any 3D printing? You doing any uh, model kit building? You doing any minifig painting or miniature painting, I should say? Let me know. Post those photos. Did you build an IKEA bookshelf? Let me know. Put them up there. Uh, you, you know, you you paint a uh, you paint the backyard. I, that didn't make any sense. I don't know. Pat, I have been cleaning and not building. Mr. Bob, okay. Well, when you start building again, make sure you document it and post it in the Discord because I like seeing, I love seeing what y'all are working on. It uh, inspires me very much to see what's out there and what you're doing. Um, so if you want to share, I love seeing it. Uh, here's a couple links. We're going to go back to building soon. Uh, Jam's got a Sega Saturn kit coming soon. Hell yeah. You mod, yeah, you mod that thing. Or no, uh, don't mod it. I mean, you could kit bash it, but you build that kit. Uh, I guess you could kit bash it later if you wanted to mod it. If you wanted to make it look like it was a imported Sega Saturn that you modded. Uh, that's a fun extra nonsense. Pat Bear's Anime Club. The latest episode is a thing where I am asking. I'm trying to answer the question: Should you watch G Gundam? If you've never watched it before, it's a video essay where I try to. Uh, uh, kind of figure that out. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, just uh, check the show description. I put the link there uh, to all these videos. Lashbrook has not built anything in a while. Need to pick up the pace. I have a bunch of stuff coming soon. Yeah, I mean, I've got four kits coming this month. Now, at least one of those is going to be a very quick build. And only I only know when two of them are actually coming. But I've got four kits coming this month. Uh, might try to build a net link for it. Hell yeah, that's awesome. I love that. Uh, bearing the list, I put this out yesterday. Lego pieces. Some yet, some random Lego bricks. I ranked Lego bricks because, I don't know, why not? I thought that would be a fun thing to build. I'm building a Target dresser over the weekend. Hell yeah, Mr. Bob. That That's building. Good on you. But yeah, I love seeing when people are working on stuff. You're under no obligation, obviously, to share your, your lives and your, your, your builds. But if you want to. All right, let's get back to building. We're going to talk about some anime. I'm going to uh, continue working on this angler fish, and then we have to get the whale started as well. There were three shows 
that I wished. Uh, uh, Mr. Press, I think I posted my PC. Yes, you did. And Dirty, I, I forgot that you said that, that you've been lazy uh, and not building. Uh, other parts have been leaning on this desk for the last week. Yep. Hey, sometimes that's where you're at. I have gotten my stuff together. Uh, okay, so Black Clover. New episode of Black Clover. Uh, new theme song. We got a new opening and new closing. I'll say that first up top, the opening is uh, lovely, I think. It is uh, was Tomorrow X Together. They are a, a K-pop uh, group. They're a boy band from, from uh, Korea. And uh, it is a little more, like, low-key than usual. Um, there are a few, like, this is our inspirational opening. Because this show has had a lot of opening and closings. I think this is the 12th set. Uh, and so that is a lot for a show that has run a, a while, obviously. Um, it's not my favorite opening, but I do like I do like that band. And I do like that they are involved. Uh, and I think that's cool. And I like it when K-pop and K-rock uh, groups are uh, like involved in anime. I think that's awesome. Uh, and you know, that is super cool. Uh, I got the parts out of my car without destroying my back. And that's something I wish I could tell myself from 15 years ago. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, that was good. Uh, also, I'll say the closing theme is done by the voice actor for Asta, the main character of Black Clover. But he's not doing a character song. It's not him singing as Asta. It's just the voice actor getting some work doing songs, and that's neat. Uh, I think that one's pretty appropriate as a closing theme. Uh, but this episode is about Yuno, uh, who was an orphan with Asta uh, and has gifted incredible abilities, so he was placed in the Golden Dawn. Um, and this is not, this is the, pretty much the opposite of, um, uh, um, the, the usual, like, black bulls who are the misfits kind of out there. Uh, there are, uh, magic knights who are not, um, royalty, but most of the ones that are royalty are in some of the bigger names. Like the Crimson Lion has a lot of royalty in it. This group has a lot of royalty in it and he's like the only poor person basically in in that one he's the only peasant or you know orphan who is now a black or sorry a golden dawn member so there's some resentment of course he's also been ex he's very powerful and distinguished and because he's kind of a loner uh and quiet guy uh who's trying not to like what do whatever uh some people think that he is like trying to show them up. Uh, so we're running to some issues there with some of the, the old black, the other people in the, uh, in the group. Uh, let's see. Um, and they're going to go help out because there are some wild boars that have gotten like flames. They're, they're, they're whatever doing their thing and they're attacking a village. And it just so happens to be the village that we saw earlier in the run of the series pretty early on it was Asta and Noel and Magma or Magna had to go and uh and help out and it was like very early on in the series and it was a big moment for Noel like trying to get her powers under control so that was kind of cool that that was uh where they went it's good this is filler but they're kind of like you know they are filling in some stuff which is kind of neat uh they fight the boars and Yuno figures out why they're the boars are going uh Berserk, not just fighting them off, which is good. Uh, there's some uh, there are some members of the Golden Dawn we've seen before uh, that had turned evil because they were possessed by the elves. So it's kind of neat to see them again, uh, but but you know in their regular abilities. Uh, I do want to know one thing. I want to know. I want to know more about the guy that uses uh, luck based magic. He rolls a die, and the die just figures out how powerful the spell he's doing is going to be. Um, so it is, and it's called gambling. Like he uses gambling magic. And I'm like, what's up with this dude? Who's this guy? What's up with it? What's going on? I don't know. I just want to know more. Anyway, the, the episode, they, they end up running into some, uh, a former uh, magic knight that uses power 
boosting items and an amulet and they have to work together to defeat him and so people like learn and change and there's like a moment where like they like literally are like hey we want to hang out with you you know like come on uh uh and it was another like moment it was another teaching moment uh episode uh i am looking forward to this filler arc being over uh, I know it is not yet, but I am looking forward to it being over because it's been, mo it started off really strong and now it's just been like, okay. And there were a couple of real clunkers. This wasn't a clunker, but it was like, all right, this is one and done and we won't ever think about anything that happened here ever again. Um, uh, yeah, so that was that episode. Uh, big things happened, you know, working on this angler fish, talking about fishing. Uh, some big things happened over in Dire of Our Days at the Breakwater. Uh, this was a, a split episode, so it was two stories, you know, uh, that were happening. Uh, and it was pretty cute, what was going down. Um, let's see. So, uh, it was some physical fitness kind of tests, some swimming tests, because, hey, they're fishing. They're, they're high school students. They got to be proficient in swimming, and especially if they follow the water wearing, you know, their heavy clothes. So that's what this is. It's uh, Hina and Natsumi and Ono. And uh, they have to do their clothes on swimming lesson because Ono really messed it up last year because she has a phobia about falling in the ocean. So she doesn't want to swim. Uh, their club advisor, who's the school nurse, used to be a lifeguard. And she seems way more reliable than normal. Her big thing is that she's kind of like, uh, hey, get me some fish to cook up so I can eat it with the alcohol I like to drink because that's my character is a drinker. I am the reliable teacher who or nurse who is not reliable. That's my character. Ugh, I don't love it. Anyway, so Ono does not want to do this. Uh, and all, I should say this, the nurse does make a mention that like uh, Ono has her reasons for not wanting to swim and not I'm being afraid of swimming, which is great because we're not making fun of her. We're not, you know, it's it's not bullying. It's, hey, you need to be better at this uh, for your own safety. Uh, and uh, it turns out they also have um, self-inflating life belts. So instead of the life jackets or in addition to life jackets, they have these things that when they hit the water, they self-inflate and they become like buoys. Uh, and Odo is excited about that, but not excited about testing them out and going in the water wearing them. Um but she envisions, her, envisions herself falling in the ocean and making trouble for the club as she envisions them, like, rescuing her and calling for an ambulance and, like, being on the ball. But she, she wants to do her best. Because, and Ono is one of my favorite characters of the year because she does care so much. And she's just, like, big, tall, reliable, quiet uh, person who occasionally gets excited about stuff. Uh, and she's just a great character. But, yeah. So she jumps, she ends up jumping in, um, and, uh, she kind of is relieved and the rest want to jump in and that's going to cost money because those air tank refills don't come cheap. So that's the first half of the episode. Um, and it was cute. The later half of the episode was a little preachy, even for my liking, like, you know, anime like this, this kind of like, Hey, we're going to talk about fishing and how you can do it. And it's that subject that comes up a lot in anime of like, this is a, thing where you're going to learn it's fun because it's a fun slice of life but you're also going to learn about things right so most of the time i'm pretty okay with that i think those are pretty fun this one was i think a little heavy-handed in its lessons anyway so they're fishing after a bunch of rain happened here um and uh it's peaceful but it is interrupted because a heron a big bird shows up uh and the heron uh, like to get like if you're if you're fishing and you're gonna toss one back or you drop a fish or something the heron just swoop in and go for it um, and so Kina is very annoyed by this because she's trying to throw some fish back and she's like yelling at the bird and it's pretty comical it's pretty fun um, but then we get some real talk because that bird has some fishing line wrapped around its leg and you actually see on this bird some missing toes because sometimes these birds, uh, you know, they get caught in people's lines that people just throw when they're done. They throw their hooks and their lines in the water and they litter, uh, which is a real thing. And these birds get hurt. And Hina can't stop thinking about it. 
And she's like, I really want to help this bird. How do we help this bird? I want to get this line tied off because I feel bad. But also because, as you may remember, Hina is a crafter and she does it. She's very good at untying knots. And she doesn't like the idea of there's this random tangled thing. She wants to get it. So they end up like getting permission to like help the bird, which is a whole weird, it's a weird thing. And they like capture the bird and untie it and then release the bird. And they're like, well, he had a weird day, so he'll never be back. Um, but then it does come back. It immediately comes back because it's a tough bird. Uh, and he knows love hate relationship with this bird continues. And this, like I said, uh, uh, is this your favorite three in one? And if not, what is, I really like the mech adjacent ones, uh, one, uh, Bobby. So, um, my favorite three in one is the underwater three in one. Because you get this cool underwater mech that you can make, underwater robot, and also like a cool submarine. Uh, I think that is probably my favorite three-in-one. The space shuttle three-in-one is also really good because you get a space shuttle and like uh, a moon buggy or, you know, whatever, a planetary buggy. Uh, and then like a satellite thing or like a moon base. Uh, so that's pretty good. I think both of those are very strong. Uh, we recently did a three-in-one that was the futuristic flyer. It was the plane. It was the um, spaceship. And then it was the robot. And it was a very much like it's a plane that turns into a robot kind of robot. It wasn't my favorite of that. Uh, but, yeah, so I would say the underwater three-in-one, like the that one, the sub, uh, that also is like a cool thing. Uh was it like the z gok at all? Uh, so let me see. Uh, I want to remember uh, what it looked like. Yeah, the three-in-one underwater robot. Um, yeah, it's like uh, it's it, it's just a it's a really cool design. Uh, I'm gonna grab it uh, here. It is a bit like the z gok. Um, so yeah, let me. I'm gonna save this, and then add it here so we can look at it this is the easiest way for me to do this and browse easiest way that i know of someday i'll learn faster ways to get a photo there it is okay here it is so this is what it looked like this is what it is it's pretty neat uh um this is definitely i would say my favorite of the uh, the three in ones because uh, I just think it like was such a fun build, such a cool thing to put together. Yes, it is like yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's the Zegok made love to a bionicle. That is a good way to put it. Yeah, that I think is my favorite three in one. Um, like I said, I think a cl uh, a second is the space shuttle because that was a cool thing. Yeah, that was a cool build. The space shuttle is probably like my second favorite because that was a really solid three in one. Uh, I oh I forget the monster burger truck is a three in one because I always just think of it as the monster burger truck and two other modes you don't want to build because they made a monster truck burger truck why would you build the, the other ones but I guess technically my favorite is the monster burger truck because that build is incredible that build is unbelievably cool uh, anyway, so Diary of Our Days of the Breakwater was an okay episode. It wasn't my favorite episode uh, of this show, but it was it was fine. Um, uh, they they had better episodes. It was a little, as I said, a little preachy, but still good. Uh, and then Decadence. So the first thing I want to say about Decadence is, what are they going to do next? Because I think there's 12 episodes of this show, and this was episode 9, which means they have three episodes left, and... It kind of felt like this was the end of the show. So usually maybe episode like 11 will wrap things up and then 12 is like what happens next. So there's like a twist left, which is kind of surprising. If you're not watching Decadence, I believe it's on Hulu. It's definitely on Funimation. Uh, it is an original series. Um, it was a little misleading because it felt like it was being sold as this show about a young lady like trying to find her place in the world and uh, getting in over her head and having to learn uh, how to fight these monsters and kind of like stepping up 
uh, when necessary to get to get the job done. And it is that, but it's mostly about a artificial life or a you know, cyborg posing as a human deciding that he wants to like live for himself and live for others and like that I was not expecting and it is a strange like twist because uh, it's like two of them working together but basically I thought it was going to be Natsume's story but it is really um, Kabu's story and that is an odd thing um, as just an odd discovery anyway so um, they're going to infiltrate the factory because this whole thing is, you know, these are all digital things. This is all a uh, simulation, basically. The humans don't know that, but they're going to invade, uh, the Gattle factory. And there's a flashback that covers the plan. Jill, who has became like my secret favorite character in the show, uh, the hacker, bra the Brainsley outfit, um, uh, Donatello ends up going and killing some Gadols for fun, which he should not be doing, but he does because he's like, hey, uh, this is the last time we're going to be able to do this, right? So um, the revolt starts, and the thing is the bugs ignite the stuff they've been cleaning up, which is feces for, for these monsters. Um, so that releases and makes all the Gadols freak out, which throws everyone at the factory into disarray. It's actually a good pr plan. Um, and then we knew that uh, Turkey, his name is Turkey. We knew that he was going to betray people. We knew that as an audience. They didn't know that. But yeah, he fucking betrays them because of course he does. And there's a big fight and it works out okay uh, between Hugin and Kabu. But uh, Kabu's, uh, the body he's been using is really beat up. Uh did I do this right? I did not do this right. Uh, this this is way... I made way too wide a face here. I'm talking about decadence and I got distracted. Do you ever build anything without directions? Here's a creator. I'd like to see what you come up with. Um, so, I have done one kit bash project uh, before where I uh, combined a couple model kits together to form like my own. Uh, the idea of, uh, of the um, Iron Blood Orphans line is that each one is named after uh, a Gundam in the book of like basically there's the book of the dead and there's these names in it and so all of them are referenced to that um, uh, and there are a bunch that we've never seen so I like created one that I felt like would be in there based on some uh, com kit bashing some stuff together uh, I also have a plan at some point I'm going to take a bunch of Lego that I have here that's from the Lego kits that I have assembled i now have them all in a bag and at some point i'm going to take them and sort them and like i don't know try to figure something out i'm gonna have a lot of building materials to kind of play with uh that is a project i will be doing sometime in the future uh is trying to figure out like a lego build like kind of do a freeform lego build but most of the time i'm following instructions and building things as as they are listed uh that is my general uh modus operandi um Anyway, uh, so uh, basically, uh, Turkey gets his. Uh, Sark, the guy that like Turkey kind of manipulated into helping uh, the the bad guys, uh, ends up having a hero moment, sacrificing himself. Uh, the reactor is destroyed. The gattles are all shut down, and at the very end of the episode. Um, Natsumi is told because she doesn't understand what's going on. She doesn't get this program. This isn't a nest. What's happening? She is told all of this, even my body, is a, is is all manufactured. And that's the end of episode nine. So I don't know what the fuck is happening. Uh, please use the ability to send email to subs to let me know when you want uh, when you do that. I want to watch. Well, thank you, Bobby. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that is going to come up in the future. I don't know when that, but that is a plan is to do that. Uh, and I will uh, let you know. Uh, yeah, I'll let sub knows. Yeah, I don't I don't send emails to subs that all that often. I should do that a little bit more. I usually do for kind of big things like, oh, it's my birthday stream or whatever. But like, yeah, uh, I should let people know when I'm doing something different. 
Yeah, that that is kind of the idea. Is like uh, a future plan is to just kind of do a free form kit because I think there could be that could be fun. Uh, kind of seeing what what I can do with just a bunch of Lego and some trial and error. Because uh, even doing the kit bash kit, it's like, all right, I have these pieces. I know I, the, I want these arms. I want these legs. Oh, these don't actually work together. I'm gonna have to like glue this part together to make this work and add some stability and. Oh, this arm piece doesn't kind of do what I wanted to do, and yeah, it was a fun. That was a fun project to to make use of some stuff I had. Uh, I've got a bunch of kits. Like basically, like I also want to honor the folks that have, uh, like Aristophan, uh, um, that have you know bought stuff on my wish list. I always want to honor the folks that buy things off my wish list. So try to do that. But yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be, uh, yeah, I, you know, it's one of those things like, it might not be good, but it'll be a thing I made, so that'll be fun. Uh, final thoughts on this episode of Decadence, as I said, the big thing about Decadence is, what is going to happen in the future, the last couple episodes, because I guess there's like the immediate fallout from this, and how the Decadence responds, uh... And do the humans revolt? Do they escape? Do they leave decadence? Is that the final thought? Does the system get rebooted? Uh, and people don't want to leave? Uh, because they don't think they can survive? Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, what happens to the cyborgs that revolted? I don't know. Should be interesting. I've only seen OG Gundam and Gundam Wings. So your kits are... A way for me to learn more about other series. Yeah, I mean that that. Uh, hey, honestly, Bobby, that's the same thing for me too. Because uh, there are sometimes like I build stuff from like, oh, I really like Iron Blood Orphans, so I want to build some stuff from Iron Blood Orphans. Or, hey, yeah, I watch Turn A Gundam. I'll I'll build the Turn A Gundam. But sometimes it's like I don't watch Gundam Build Divers. I don't watch Build Fighters Try, but they make very cool kits. So if I see a cool kit that I'm like, I don't know what this is from, I'm gonna build it. Like. I've seen F91 uh, once, but dang if those kits aren't incredible. So uh, I'm definitely, you know, it's like, oh, I'm definitely going to build this because the Vignagina is a fantastic kit. So, yeah, I can build that even if I'm not super familiar with the series. And this is the shiny thing that the anglerfish gets so that it can chomp you and eat you. Uh, convert to your Prime Gaming sub to Tier 1. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Some applause there. Thank you for doing that. Uh, the F91 kits are better than the, that movie thing. Yeah, Mr. Bob, I don't disagree with you. Um, all right, so now we just got to build the tail for the anglerfish. But yes, no, you're, you're totally right. Uh, um... Uh, I mean, the Vignagina is one of my favorite designs because it's basically what if Megatron didn't transform into a gun or tank uh, and was just a cool looking mobile suit. Because uh, that first Vignagina is so great. The Vignagina 2 is more traditional in that it is a red, just a red thing, you know, for a villain. It's a little bit more tradish. Uh, but yeah, uh, so as I said, we're going to finish this up, but we're not going to be done with this kit here. Uh, Bandai made a more mature show around creative build shows. Yes. Um, but we, yeah, we, like I said, we're not going to be done because some three in ones have a fourth build and you have to get that PDF off their website, which I did. And so we're actually going to build the whale which is uh, the fourth uh, mystical mythical fourth build so we will uh we will build that uh i assume we will probably get it started tonight but we will actually finish that on saturday um i have to download the photo of that so i can add it. i'm going to replace the shark thing with the photo of the whale um but uh yeah that'll be like our fourth build uh which would be pretty fun uh the first two seasons of Build still have my heart. I know, Mr. Bob. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan, but I do appreciate it. All right, so we built the angler fish. i got to put those eyes in the right spot. We'll get this thing there. I'm going to get a photo of that. But, yeah, there's a fourth build. 
uh, for this kit. I don't. I haven't done a fourth build before, but we're gonna do that uh, coming up now. But I first, I want to take a photo of this because we completed this. Um, let me get this there. Cheat it. Great. Um, so yeah, so we're going to disassemble. I'm going to get this up here. Come on. There you go. Yep. Uh, so I just have the instructions here in, uh, in a PDF on my iPad. Uh, but we have to disassemble before we can build that. Um, we've got some time left in the stream, you know, about 10, 15 minutes left. So if there's anything you want to chat about here as we disassemble and prepare for, uh, the next kit, uh, you know, feel free to ask those things. Uh, I said my next build is going to be Saturday. I'm going to be doing the whale kit, uh, version here, finishing that off, finishing off this kit, which I'm very excited to do. And then starting the Zaku 2, uh, which is a fantastic kit. Um, this is John Ritten's. Uh, Zaku 2. It's great looking. Real grade. Uh, haven't done a real grade in a while. I bet a but I've been doing high grades lately. So, uh, that should work out just fine. Uh, after that. Uh, well, things I want to plug. I was going to plug this at the end of the stream, but I'll, I'll tell you now. Um, so I have a, uh, a panel for PAX Online. I've been talking about that, but I do want to just take a second to uh, remind folks that I do have a panel um, at PAX Online. So uh, that is a nine-day event. I just have one panel. I'm on another panel, but this is the panel that I'm in. Uh, yeah, uh, the panel that I created, Pat Bear's Anime Club, yelling about the shows we love, featuring Coriander Dickinson, a.k.a. Corey, and Brendan Beach Dairy. Uh, from Loading Ready Run, who are fantastic. Uh, they are joining me Sunday, the 13th. So that's the Sunday night, the 13th, 6.45 p.m. Eastern Time at twitch.tv slash PAX2. Um, uh, I will be hosting that stream in my chat. So if you want to go to uh, uh, Pat Bear, you know, you want to go to twitch.tv slash Pat Bear, um, probably like five or ten minutes before the stream starts, uh, I'll... Uh, I will uh, just start hosting the channel and I'll be in my chat so I can chat with you there because uh, I think that's more fun than PAX's chat. Uh, so we'll do that. Um, and you can watch it there. Uh, oh, yeah. So it is not a uh, it is it is a recorded panel, Bobby. Um, there will be some live panels at PAX, but this one was recorded in advance. They wanted a majority of them to be pre-recorded, which means that I um, I can host it and I don't have to worry about doing it. Uh, I can just host it and hang out and watch it. Um, Dirty says tomorrow is my monthly go out and start my car day. My plan is to drive to the liquor store for cocktail fixings. Hell yeah. Yes, get try to start that car, uh, Dirty. Keep that thing moving. Um, but yeah, so this was uh, uh, not all of them, but a lot of panels at PAX uh, online are pre-recorded. I think some of the Q&A stuff are going to be live uh, and maybe some of the talks. Uh, will be, but um, yeah, this was pre-recorded. We we did it a couple weeks ago, uh, and I had to edit it down for the for the panel to fit in the time constraints. Uh, Julie Cooley is now following. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that very much. Uh, welcome, welcome to the uh, the old uh, Bill Wood Bear workshop. Um, but yeah, so that's the next big thing going on with me is the, is that panel. Very excited about doing that. Um, uh, I am in a panel that will run on Monday. Uh, I think it's before. I think it runs before mine. I got a uh, Smack Talk Showdown. There's a tournament. Um, uh, the fine folks at the tabletop uh, wrestling game Smack Talk Showdown um, have a uh, a panel Monday. Yes, it's monday september 14th at 11 15 p.m so directly after my stream at twitch.tv slash pax3 so after my stream is done on monday i will uh host that um and i don't know if i'm gonna hang out and chat for that uh because it'll be after my stream but i will definitely host that uh so that people can watch it on my channel and hang out and keep watching 
instead of whatever else they're going to watch on a, uh, uh, you know, and being that. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Bobby. I appreciate that. I'm doing okay. Um, I'm in South Carolina right now. I'm staying with folks because, uh, my main industry stuff, uh, all dried up due to COVID because, you know, uh, there is not live theater in New York right now. Uh, there will be again at some point. I mean, there are some outdoor shows happening here and there for some stand up stuff, but that's a microphone. You know, they're not, they don't really need production for that. Uh, so I am hanging out with my folks here and it's, uh, it's been an adjustment, but, uh, I'm okay and safe. And that's, you know, that's, uh, something I'm happy about. Um, I miss New York. I miss kind of seeing people. Not that I was really seeing them anyway when I was, uh, when I was, uh, hanging out. Um, uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it is, a uh, it has been an adjustment it's going on for a couple of months now. Uh, the hope is that I can get some work down here going, uh, soon and start saving up again, uh, to make the move back. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, but I'm safe and I'm having a lot of quality time with my folks, which I don't get to do. That was kind of just Christmas. So that is a thing I've been very excited about having time for is, uh, being with the family and helping out, uh, been able to do some cooking cause they have a very nice kitchen here and I have access to some gear that I don't have. So I've been taking advantage of that. That's been good for my mental health in the same way that model kit building is just great because it is like tonight we built, we, we, uh, we assembled two different things, right? We started with, we finished the squid and we did the angler fish and I accomplished something. Is it just a Lego set build? But hell yeah. But it's like exactly, you know, it was just like a fun time. And like, that is honestly enough. Like these days, like to have like, oh, that was really fun. And like, I accomplished something and I finished something. And in the, these days that can be very rewarding. Uh, cook the best omelets. Yeah, I just did eggs today. Uh, you know, do okay. Yeah, it is, you know, it's satisfying to like finish a thing and be like, I did this. I made this. I mean, that's the similar thing is why I've been documenting some of the cooking stuff I've been doing. Um, it's just the simple fact of like, hey, I finished this. Like I made shepherd's pie today. Check this out. Check out the shepherd's pie. Like that is just a like things like, oh, cook this steak really well. Check this out. Like, look at this great steak that got marinated. It's basically, I did a London broil, but I'm not going to be broiling it. I'm going to be grilling it uh, out in the backyard. And it's like, that is just fun. Like, I just enjoy it. That is a fun bit of business. Uh, and it's nice to be like, hey, check this out. Look at me. Look at what I did. Could be nice. Um, but yeah, that's been good. Hopefully soon the archive of the, uh, guest stream spot I did for loading ready run will be on their YouTube. When, as soon as it is, I will post a link to that, um, so that people can check it out. Uh, cause that's very fun. Uh, that was a Sunday stream. So that should be probably hopefully in a couple days, uh, that that'll go up. Uh, Jay uh, Griffith just subscribed. Thank you very much. Whoa. Oh, that's because Bobby just gifted 10 subs. Holy shit. That's so nice. Let's throw the Bear Cave Lego, the Scythe Mode in the chat. Thank Bobby. And then I'm going to welcome everyone who just became a subscriber. Uh, so thank you so much. And welcome to, it's going to take a little second here. Uh, Jay Griffith, as I said, Sazabi. Hey, Sazabi. Pinball Geek. Electro Deck. Adjective noun gaming. Oh, you you got a gifted sub for that. That's awesome. Um, uh, uh, Powell proxy, uh, Akito, Meaty hooks, uh, B Mac, and Julie Cooley. Julie Cooley, who just you know, hey, you followed, and suddenly you got a gift sub. That's so nice. Welcome to the top of the gift leaderboard. That's so rad. Thank you for that. I appreciate that so much. Yes, please thank uh, uh, thank Bobby for that. Um, I appreciate that very, very much. Uh, that's awesome. That's a great way to end the stream. We got a couple minutes left, but that is, that's good vibing. 
but yeah, folks, th welcome. Enjoy your emotes and you're not seeing ads at the beginning of the stream. Uh, you know, pre-roll ads and stuff. Uh, yeah, this is going to take a little while. We're almost, almost there. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, and also, like, folks, I think you, you know this, like, this chat is always just so nice. Uh, honestly, I mean, this, you know, like, I wouldn't be streaming as much as I do if it wasn't for this excellent vibes in this, in this community. It's a small little community, but people are really nice and uh, really positive in here. Uh, yeah, Gary says this is one of my favorite chats. It's always just so chill. Yeah, I mean, like, look, you know what we get when we get some weird energy in here? You know what our weird energy is? People who, like, really need to talk to me about something. You know, like, there are folks that came in through here um, that, like, oh, I'm a stream that talks about anime, and they really want to talk about anime because maybe they don't have people in their in their day-to-day -day they can talk to anime about. Or model kit stuff. They're really, really excited about talking about model kits, and I'm someone talking about model kits. So they really want to talk about the stuff they just bought because they don't really have people in their life they can talk to about. So that's what we get. We get, like... People who really want, really need to be like the center of chat's attention because they're very excited to talk about a thing. We, we, you know, we don't get negative people in here. We don't get people who are in here just to, you know, be uh, uh, condescending and rude to each other or anything like that. Do we get those people on occasion stopping by to be jerks? Yeah, but we don't tolerate them and we don't, they don't stick around. Uh, and then also the people that really need our attention and really need to chat, like they also find other chats to go to and they do move on. They get what they need. And I'm okay with that. Um, if folks really need to like, uh, be, be the chat thing, you know, uh, in the same way that like, I love the folks that are like, I'm here, I'm watching the stream. I maybe will throw the emote in now and again, but I'm not like here to like, uh, uh, I'm not here to really chat because I kind of just watch this on my TV and veg out or this is on my phone while I'm at work. And so I'm really hearing it more than I'm watching it. Like there are people that are, are finding different vibes. And the my favorite part about this uh, community here, the the, uh, the chat, is just that it's some really good people uh, that just are psyched. And when we talk about a thing that's not your thing, like if I talk about wrestling, there are a lot of people that are like, this is not a thing that I have any knowledge about. Or we, I talk about anime, and some of y'all are like, hell yeah, I can't wait to talk about Misfit at Demon King Academy. And there are some of y'all that are just like, I don't watch any of the shows that you watch, and I also don't really watch anything. I read some manga. Hey, did you hear about this thing? Uh, but... You know, for the and then there are plenty of people that are just like, I don't know, I don't know what you're even talking about. What is this? And sometimes I do like when I'm talking about like a real nonsense show. For some of y'all, just be like, what is that? What does that even mean? What what kind of show is that? Uh, Roman Reigns as a heel is kind of fun. Yeah. I, hey, here's the thing: is it way overdue? Should he have turned? heal a long time ago yes do i like that they use the fiend as a way to make him champion so he didn't lose to didn't beat brawn not really i think it would have made sense for him to just turn heel on brawn who is also kind of a heel uh, i mean look here's the real thing i don't want the fiend with the belt because the fiend doesn't need the belt the fiend just needs to be the fiend heel or face or tweener but don't put the belt on the fiend in the first place just to transition it. Don't make the don't make him a transitional champion. Just don't have him win the don't have him in the contest for the big one. Have him up. He should only have personal vendettas with people. He should be like, I am going to defeat you because I have singled you out as a person that I want to beat up. Uh, but whatever. Uh, there's still some good stuff going on there. Uh, outside of. Uh, the Fiend should have a fake belt. Yes, he should just have his... He should just have that belt, the version of the belt that is just his face. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yes, he should have his own championship that he never defends. 
He never puts it up. No one will ever take it from him because he's never defending his title because he just has a weird thing that is his. And it's not a belt. He has, like, a big cup, like a big, weird, like, trophy. He's got, like, deer hooves, and he's like, this is mine. I won this. I'm the champion. And we're like, oh, okay. Um, but I think... I think it's bold to have Roman be a heel in the in the year 2020 when people were like, yeah, you know what? Roman Reigns, hell yeah. Beat cancer, all right, yeah. Okay, Roman Reigns. You know what? You know what? Okay. Like, it's very strange to have that be the thing and then to them be like, and he's going to come back as a cool heel. And you're like, I mean, all right. Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, I don't think it doesn't work, but I'm like, okay, yeah. Uh, I just want Sami Zayn to turn face at some point. They won't because he's a great heel, but I love Sami so much. Oh, Paul Heyman definitely helps because Roman can cut a promo, but Paul Heyman promo is just the best. Yeah, I miss people in Chikara. I have high hopes that some of the uh, the Philly folks are going to be able to start something honest and good. I know that some of the instructors from Chikara are working on a new project, um, uh, a new school for Philly, because Philly is a hot. There's a lot of good wrestlers out of that area, so it looks like they're they're starting up a new program, and that'll be good. Uh, anyway, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go raid because that's what we do here at the end of a stream. Is I figure out somebody that I think is cool out there and we're going to go give them a follow or a raid and see what they're up to. Um, so let me go find somebody awesome. Now, normally they're not model kit builders, um, but thank you all for being here. I appreciate it very much. Um, oh, is, is that the Twitch? We're not going to go watch someone watch the Twitch chat choice awards because Folks, I don't know what that fuck that means, and I don't want to go watch that. Um, so we're not going to do that, and that is what a bunch of the people that I, f I follow here are doing. Uh, so we're just going to... Uh, let's see. I'm going to go see what this stream is right now. Okay, yeah, we're going to go do this. Uh, my boy Ben Wheeler is streaming some Magic the Gathering. Gladiator, which is a... Uh, it is a type of Magic the Gathering, like it is a play style called Gladiator. Um, but Ben is incredibly knowledgeable about uh, Magic, so you will learn some stuff about Magic from him. And also, he's very fun and cool. Uh, and a good dude. So, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go raid. Because uh, I try to raid real good people. Uh, that is the goal, is that we raid nice folks. Oops. I wrote the wrong name down. I missed the R in Wheeler. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go raid Ben. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. My next stream is Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern. We are going to build the whale, the bonus uh, uh, build, and then we are going to move on to the Zaku 2 and build that great real grade. So feel free to come along in the raid. You don't have to if you don't want to, but we'd love it if you could. And I'll see you in the next Build with Bear. Have a great night. Bye-bye, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.